So Blizzard released a brand new aiming system to the game only a few days ago and I just now found out about it. So I had to find out what it does and how it compares to the others and I found a lot of interesting things. If you didn't see my last video on dual zone versus exponential ramp then I recommend you watch that in case you aren't familiar how those work. The new system is called linear ramp. Now technically it's not new. According to some blog users the system is actually something we wanted for a long time and are now finally getting. COD, Halo, and Destiny use this system already and they are regarded as the best feeling shooters. As we know, Expo Ramp is when you move your joystick to the outer range, both speed and acceleration keep increasing. Linear Ramp, in comparison, has a constant acceleration no matter the joystick range which makes it easier to build muscle memory with, as well as a smaller dead zone. The other part to this update is the aim smoothing option that has been added. This will simultaneously decrease smoothing while increasing acceleration when lowering this option. With Linear Ramp, it's said that lowering the smoothing, even to zero, is the best way to experience it to its full extent, giving you that true one-to-one -one movement ratio that Linear Ramp is known for. Here are some clips showing you the difference in movement between Expo Ramp and Linear Ramp. I do recommend you trying this for yourself so you can feel the actual difference. I'm simply making fast movements left and right as well as making circular movements. The linear feels more accurate in representing my finger movements compared to Expo Ramp. I've tried both with zero aim smoothing and with Expo Ramp it makes it a bit jagged in its movement so it fits linear ramp much better when lowered. If you are very twitchy in your aim and even like to flick shot you may want to consider lowering your aim smoothing, possibly even down to zero. Just play around with it to find out what you like best. There is something else. According to a post that I'll leave a link in the description for, at the time of release, Linear Ramp doesn't operate the way it's supposed to and hasn't received a fix yet. So by the time you see this, it may operate a bit better than shown here. So keep that in mind when trying to choose an aim system for yourself. Blizzard hasn't confirmed that it's broken or even responded yet, so we'll just have to wait and see to what they plan on doing with that. In my opinion, I think Dual Zone is still really good for tracking shots. It does lack when it comes to trying to flick shot and turn speed consistency when trying to strafe around someone at close range. But lowering the aim smoothing really does give you more of a twitchy feeling and should help with both of those. I don't think there's much of a place for Expo Ramp anymore, but I could be wrong. I understand some have left Dual Zone in favor of Expo Ramp, but I think those people should try Linear Ramp even in its current broken state. I think they will appreciate it more. Linear Ramp, even at this time, is really good for flick shotting. I did find trouble at longer distances, but because of its nature, you really should lower your sensitivity overall if you switch because it multiplies the speed in all categories due to its one-to-one -one thumb movement ratio. For now, I'm still using Dual Zone because I like tracking, but I did lower my aim smoothing and I currently am really enjoying it. In the future, I may change it, but for now, I like Dual Zone with 50 aim smoothing. Here are some clips that I got when first trying lowered aim smoothing. So hope this helped, I found as much info as I could on this, have you tried out Linear Ramp yet? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.